Hello again, Brendan Kowahu here. Today's October 23rd, 2017, and uh, we're gonna cut some stuff open again. Um, let's just start out by pulling open my kit here and displaying all my tools. We're gonna do, let's see, we're gonna use a fresh scalpel today because I used this last one to, uh, can't really see it because of the lighting, cut into some molding clay and uh, now there's molding clay all in that blade. I wanted to keep this other scalpel just in case of an emergency and put it in like my bug out bag or something. <laughs> but, you know, there it is, either way. Um, so what I'm gonna be using today is I'm gonna be using my scalpel, fresh, brand new, obviously. I'm gonna be using this tool. I don't know what it is, to point at stuff. Um, and then, I really don't need uh, any anything else. Anything else in here, I really kind of don't need it. So I'm just going to be using my scalpel. Um, also, uh, there's a towel under here, under my workstation here, uh, just because the sheep's brain here, you can see obviously it's got a lot of like fluids. So, start off by opening my scalpel. Very nice. Nothing like that new scalpel smell. Yeah. Um, new scalpel. Obviously I'm wearing gloves during this procedure. I'm also wearing off-camera protective eyewear. So there's my new scalpel. I can actually just pull this little sheet of uh, paper out there. I think that's just for transport. And we're going to move all this stuff. And we're going to go ahead here. And open up this brain. So let's see here. Made in Mexico. Thank you, Mexican sheep. Muchas gracias. For your brain. Right, let's open it. I'm going to try and keep this bag as intact as I can because I'm going to try and put the brain back into the bag afterwards. I might have to make a small incision into the bag though. It seems like it's hard to open up. So we're going to do that. And actually for this, I'm going to use my old scalpel. See, it comes in handy. Let's make a tiny little incision there. This video is not going well, however, um, it's already begun, I have gloves on, and I can't stop recording, so it is my hope that you'll just completely ignore the first part of this video. Um, Alright, there's the brain. Ugh, you never forget that. I did this in high school too, and you never forget that wet sheep's brain smell. God, that is terrible. Terrible, terrible smell. Um, never goes away. Alright, so let's see what we're looking at. Let's flip it over here. I'm going to grab it by the stem. This is really something else. So, uh, let's point out some stuff here. Olfactory well, bulbs, first of all. And then we're looking at the uh, optic chisma about there, um, and then of course we have the optic nerve, which are uh, these guys here. We have the midbrain, uh, we have the meninges, um, and then of course we have the medulla, which is this part down here. It's pretty defined. Uh, the medulla oblongata. Uh, we have the pons back here. That part is the pons. Um, the cerebellum, which is the back right here. We have the parietal lobe, which is this right here. And then we have the uh, mammillary body, which is the this right here. So flip it back over now and see what else we can take a look at here. This is the frontal lobe. 
I'm actually going to make my first incision here. That way we can get a better picture of exactly what it is we're looking at. So just cut away a lot of this. And of course, as always, you want to be very, very careful not to actually cut the brain. You just want to cut away this top layer um, of protective film here. It cuts pretty easily. I'm sorry, I don't remember what it's called. Maybe you can help me out with that. Um, oh, this is actually the old scalpel I'm using, and I apologize for that. So, let's open it up. This should, once you make your incision, it should peel away pretty easily. Do some more cutting here. I love how, by the way, I love how beautifully a scalpel cuts it's uh, it really is an art form to be able to do it right. Now, normally, I would want to tie my subject down to the table um, so it doesn't get away, and so I I don't have to kind of like wrestle with it too much. And obviously for safety, my, my safety when using the scalpel is obviously paramount to any assignment or any grade, and I hope you would agree with me, I think you will. So here we go, just kind of peeling away here, gross, gross. So there you go, let me open up the brain here, kind of expose it. Gorgeous. We're gonna cut away again on the back side. Move my finger so I don't cut myself. Can you imagine the infection? My goodness. Oh, skin ripping. No matter how many times I hear it, even if it's not even human skin, skin ripping is one of those sounds that just it gets me every time so gross I get very squeamish with stuff like that it's still the one thing that and uh, sputum gets me every time my god alright I'm just gonna make one cross incision here I'm trying to pull this back so we can expose it some more I know it's probably frustrating to watch me tackle this thing and you're like, God, what is this guy doing? Freaking amateur, right? Well, I'm not a surgeon. So. I feel like this has gone on for too long. Eight and a half minutes already, that's okay. Now imagine if you were wearing 3D glasses. Hmm? We could really have some fun with this guy. All right. Wipe my hands off here off camera and we're back. So now that we flipped it over, you have the grooves obviously here you can kind of see. Ooh, that was cool. You can see some some blood moving through the veins there. You can barely see it, but blood moving through veins there. That's pretty cool. So that's your groove. Okay you have your gyrus, your ridge, which is this here. It's obviously a ridge. Um, and then you have your temporal lobe, which is the back side, essentially, or I'm sorry, the side of what we looked at earlier here. Um, so it, it's on top of the parietal lobe. So the parietal lobe here goes all the way down. You can see it on the bottom as well. It's one lobe of the brain. So. You have the occipital lobe back here. You have the cerebellum here. So uh, we're going to now pull up 
pull that apart. Gosh, that's that's split beautifully. Um, and we obviously start here with the uh, cerebrum. Okay, we have the pineal gland here. We have the uh, corpora cra qua corpora quad re mina. <laughs> And of course the cerebellum back here. We're gonna do the actual uh, cutting now, which of course, of course, is my favorite part. And uh, being that this week starts the World Series of Baseball, we're gonna use a baseball reference and we're gonna cut it right down the middle. Oh, it splits so beautifully and it just gives way under the scalpel, which is just absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. Two lobes open up like that. Uh, you almost forget what you're working with here because it, it's a brain, obviously, but it's so, so similar to lungs when you split it in two like that. Very, very gorgeous. So. And it cuts so nicely. Gosh, all right, beautiful. Very, very beautiful. All right, so we have the arbor vitae here. Very nice. Um, we have the medulla oblongata, which is here. We have, this is the spinal cord, which is, you can kind of see, if I can flip it back over here, you can see it's really, really uh, beautiful because you can still see it. We have the pons down here. Okay, we have the midbrain. Here. Why is it called the midbrain? It's in the middle of the brain. Uh, we have the hypothalamus here when towards you know when we get toward the front. We have the corpus callosum, which runs here. You can't really see it because my cut wasn't that great. I admit that. The corpus callosum here. Um, we have the optic chysma here. Down here, this little guy. Um, we have the thalamus. Let's open it up so we can see it a little bit better. The thalamus, which is right there, okay, um, the pineal gland is down here, we have the cerebellum here, uh, oh, I think I already, I think I already did that, the arbor vitae, the cerebellum, the hypothalamus, uh, let's see, the mammillary body, just here, um, and of course that's the pons, medulla, oblongata, and the spinal cord, I think we already went through that, so, that's it. Next week is a cow eye, and I'm not looking forward to it because I am a total octophobe. It'll be fun. All right. Until next week. Until next week. Bah, 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 bah. Gross. Nurses have very, very screwed up senses of humor.